Welcome back to the After Effects Party. We've got Pink Party Ball and Green Party Ball positioned for the dance. They're moving in tandem, or we could also say they're sharing the exact same tempo. Now I'm not really keen on them totally exiting the stage, so I'm going to adjust their end position so they stop within the composition instead of leaving the composition. So I'm going to jump on down and I'm just going to move the position, the X position modifier so she's right in the composition. Now, since their positions are identical, I can click on pink party balls modifier and just type in the same number that's on the green party ball. 1764.7. And they're both together, and it should stop at the end of the composition. Now we want to give Pink Party Ball a little more energy. We want her to move faster down the timeline than the green party ball. So all I have to do is select the final keyframe. And adjust it. So what I'm doing is telling After Effects that I want Party Ball to get to the end of her run at two seconds instead of four seconds. So that's much faster. Here you can vary the tempo. Now let's add some squash and stretch action. I think I'll just swap layer positions for Party Ball 1 and 2 because pink is on the top and green is on the bottom. So to reposition a layer I can just click and drag it underneath the other. Now I want pink Party Ball to start stretching as she increases velocity. So I'm going to close the green Party Ball's modifier. I'm going to click on Pink Party Ball. I'm going to hold Shift S. S is for scale. And the Shift will allow you to have two modifiers open at once. Hmm. So at what point do we want her to start stretching? Maybe about here. So let's put our first keyframe here. And we want her to continue her stretch until the end of the frame. Mm -hmm. Let's say five frames back. And we'll add another keyframe. Okay, how do we stretch her? Well, for the scale, you can uncheck the constraint proportions ratio. And now you can independently scale the x and y axis. We want to scale the y axis to make the ball look like it's stretching. Cool. So our first keyframe isn't stretched at all. The last one is really stretched. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. It's not looking very naturalistic, is it? What can we do? Well, Let's make let's make the stretch happen sooner. So I'm going to click and drag and select both of these keyframes and just slide them down a little bit. And take a look. Okay, that's getting to be a little better. But I think the tempo has to increase quite a bit as well. So I'm going to move the position keyframe down the timeline. Mm, it's still a little slow. So now I'm going to click and drag and select the end of the scale and the end of the position keyframes and slide them down. Ooh, this is going to be really fast. I'm also going to shorten our playhead so we don't have to worry about green party ball catching up with us. 
Oh. That is conveying a little bit more sense of speed, isn't it? I think it can go faster. Hmm, now we're getting somewhere. Faster still, I'm going to zoom in on the timeline and move them even closer. Woo, this is going to be like a 14 frame animation. Hmm, well, that's good. Want to go even faster? Let's do it. I think I want to adjust the stretch to happen right as the ball begins its journey across the field of gray. I like that even more. Now, I think I'd like to move Pink Party Ball so she moves right out of the composition. I'm going to select my last position modifier and scooch her right on down. I think I will increase how long it takes for her to get there just to add some more frames. See as I move this down the timeline, the number of tweens increases, giving us a slower motion. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And that's how you vary tempo and add a little stretch to your animation. <laughs>